Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here of Apple Updates and Google recently launched an update to their Google Wallet app on all Android devices, including tablets. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out and I'll kind of give you guys a better explanation. So first off, I recommend that you all download the Google Wallet app because it now supports all of your devices. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my pin real quick and be right back. Uh, all right, so you guys can uh, see this is my account. Of course, if you swipe to the right, you have uh, all different options, uh, all different types of options and things you could do. So you could send money to somebody uh, by using their email address. Now, let me just point out that this is only if they have Google Wallet 2 uh, and it's only within the United States. Uh, then you could go ahead and see your transactions. As you can see, I bought uh, Aspalt 8. Uh, then we have our wallet balance. Now, of course, here's where it's uh, kind of interesting. What you can do is you can add money to your Google Wallet account uh, so you can use that money to transfer to people. Um, to do that, you can either uh, transfer money from your bank account or from your debit card or credit card. Uh, and then you have offers, which uh, I don't really have offers in my area right now. Uh, and then you have loyalty programs. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, you can have your loyalty cards on here. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, but with Passbook, you could uh, do basically the same thing. Let me just open up Passbook real quick here. Um, and as you can see, I have my loyalty cards here. Uh, so I have a Starbucks gift card. All I need to do is go into Starbucks, show them this, uh, and it basically reduces clutter from my wallet so I could just carry my iPod around instead of carrying a wallet. Over here you can see I also have a Payless, uh, not really a gift card, but it's a, you know, like a plus shopper's card. Uh, so this will also reduce clutter from my wallet um, because if I don't want to carry around a card, I can just add a card from here. So let's go ahead and go through that process real quick. You guys can see off the bat, it has a lot of loyalty programs that you can sign up and add your card with. But if you don't see it there, you could add more. And, uh, as you can see, you have tons of things here. Like you could add your Delta Sky Miles card or something. Um, and that's, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Google Wallet is really trying to replace pass, uh, re replace Passbook uh, on iOS. So, um, you know, that's basically it. Now, I do want to say that Tap to Pay is only available uh, basically, tap to pay is when you go to a merchant that has Google Wallet support and you just tap your Android device that has NFC. Um, but basically, it's still not available on all devices with NFC. Um, it's just um, it's just a you know Google Wallet update just gives it a better look, um, and you you can just basically send people money from Google Wallet from your Android device. So that is Google Wallet's update explained. In a nutshell, it's basically that Google just launched an app that allows you to transfer money between people via email address from the app. It's not really uh, anything new, um, and you don't really have tap to pay. Um, so it's kind of a bummer, but that is Google Wallet explained. Of course, if you enjoy this video, feel free to click that like button down below, and you can subscribe for more videos like this. That's all and have a great day.